Hello everyone and welcome back to Hawkwood's Mystery. In the last one, once again, Sierra walked awkwardly away from us, leaving us with more questions than answers. And then, again, once again, Benz wants to talk to us and hopefully he's found his teddy. He might not have, but we might, we might need to help him find his teddy again, who knows. At any point he wants to talk to us, so we better just jump right in and start talking to him because he's our friend and we love him dearly and he's so adorable. So let's go in and see what he has to say. Oh, a lot of people wants to talk to us this time around. Usually they don't want to, but there's only been a few times this go around. So let's see. There should be a charm that wards against bad puns. <laughs> what? I I uh <laughs> I don't get that. Okay. Um I guess he's not a he he don't enjoy the punny manner of bad puns, I guess. Let's see here. Can you believe that one kid still practices the le levitation charm? My He's so behind. I I mean, Stephanie, have you heard it? He's still practicing. I am not spreading rumors. I'm just telling the truth. I swear. I swear. <laughs> Chitter chatter. <laughs> well, I hope you had a charming class today. What? <laughs> charming class? Oh, it's a bad porn. <laughs> I don't mind those. It's just a bit of professor humor there, <laughs> if you get what I mean, children. Students, not children, but students. Okay. So... This is a... So this is kind of a... In between, have some fun type of thing, I am assuming. Let's go and talk to Ben, because he might actually... Oh, there's the Gryffindor student over there that's practicing the le levitation spell. He's just sitting over there all alone. No, you chatty cathies. Don't be mean to him. Anyway. Basically. <clears throat> but let's uh, let's check up what Ben have to say. You looked upset all through Charms class, right? We were not in Charms class. We were everywhere else, actually. So, did we look upset? Maybe we did. I have no idea. We didn't have charms class. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Is it about the werewolf attack? Because the rumor has it that the girl actually saw a hippogriff and not a werewolf and was scratched by a tree as she ran. I'm glad to hear the truth has got around so quickly. So it is true. That's such a relief to hear. Especially since tonight is a full moon. Oh, Ben, you have it. <laughs> you poor soul. If you just knew. <laughs> anyway. There's still hundreds of reasons why I won't go out in the dark alone. But at least I can now cross werewolves off the list. Well, that's nice to know. By the way, did you have a chance to talk to Sierra about the visit we saw her meeting with? I asked her about it, but she wouldn't give me any answers, sadly. Why you ask? I've been thinking about what we saw that night. Like yesterday night, you know? But, hey. Eh. And there's something I decided I need to do. What? Ben? What are you up to? It does not sound... It sounds rather suspicious in some way. You okay? Oh, it's only an hour. Okay. I'm always surprised when we are this far into the events when the one hours come. And it's like, oh, it's a one hour. That's fine. That's perfect, actually. So, let's just jump in. 
Let's hear what he has to say. I think we should warn Dumbledore about the visit we saw up with Sierra. <sighs> Maybe. I don't know, because I, as a player, I I know who she met with, but in the game, in that world, they do not. Hmm, what to do How about that? Uh, I don't know. Let's see, what do we have to say? You are concerned about what the visit... You're concerned about the visit we saw with Sierra? Yeah, probably. He doesn't know much. You don't fill him in. So, eh? For all he knows, it could have been an adult visit blackmailed in Sierra for some reason. You know, Ben thinks that's way those ways all the time. Worst case scenarios all the time. You know that. So let's see. That visit from the training grounds might be up to something. Indeed, he might be. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the full moon, dear. And when it's full moon... I think actually it's not, not to burst bubbles or just tell it as it is, but I'm pretty sure mostly because Sierra's kindness, she donated her Wolfsbane potion to Lupin to be kind to him. But it, it leaves... It, kind of leaves the issue with her not being able to control herself, so uh, it's not going to be good, is it? If that visit is dangerous, don't we owe it to Hogwarts to report him? Yeah, we kind of do. For all we know, that could just have been Shiara's dad. With out of... Oh, Dad? Right. Did you know what time he met with her? It's far beyond the, like, visiting time, I would say. I would even find it suspicious if it was her dad visiting at those hours. Well, he would, of course, have his reasons, but still. Oh, well, if her father was a werewolf, it, it would make sense, but Ben doesn't know anything about Sierra. So, <laughs> um, I don't think he will buy that one <laughs> at all. Let's see. Dumbledore will know what to do about that visit. That visit. Let's see here. Oh, we are we are circling with him definitely. So let's just see what we have of last comments to do. I'm worried about Sierra being all right, but. Oh, this is the last one. I'm not sure we'll be able to tell Dumbledore about the visit, at least not yet. Oh yeah, again, the thing jumping to conclusions without actually knowing anything, that can be a dangerous game, of course. <clears throat> You're thinking about reporting the visit we saw at a meeting with Sierra to Dumbledore? Oh. Think about it, Ray. He's a stranger at ho on Hogwarts grounds doing some sort of business with a classmate. It's only natural that we should report him, right? I'm actually agreeing with Ben. It is suspicious. It is. Like, from, ben perspe from Ben's perspective, yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> from Bryce's perspective, we know more than Ben. So, yeah, I get why he wants to report it, because he doesn't actually know what else to do. That makes sense. I'm not sure about this. Huh? Why not? Don't you think the visit could be a threat? Um... Hmm... Um... <laughs> uh, what should we answer there? He's a threat. Or he's harmless. Well, basically, he has not really made. He has not made any suggestions that he's a threat. However, we can't say he's harmless either. Why is there not a third option? That, like, we need more information option. 
That would have been much more nice to have. I'm just saying as it is. Oh man, what should we choose? This is, uh... This is not good. <laughs> um... I, I would say... Man, should we go with, with the, the thing that she claimed that it could be Sierra's dad? Maybe that would calm down, Ben? And then just say he's harmless, it's probably just Sierra's dad visiting in the night, which is kind of suspicious, but don't think about it. He's harmless? Sierra wouldn't get involved with someone dangerous. I'm sure this visit is harmless. Harmless people don't usually hold secret meetings with students in the middle of the night. I will agree with Ben there. I'm sorry, Bright. It's very hard for you to actually deny this one. What are we gonna do about this? I do not know. I know how it sounds, but I'm sure Sierra has a good explanation. I don't want to jump to conclusions, then report the visit, and then possibly get Sierra into trouble without talking to her first. That sounds wise. Like, at least get her side of the story, because she wouldn't listen to our side. We will not be the same type. We will listen to her first. But she wouldn't... She cut us off and thinking we were spying on her. No. We will listen to her and not jump to conclusions, because else we are no better. We will have her talk. We will talk to her. So please, Ben, don't tell Dumbledore. I'm just not sure, Ray. Reporting him still feels the, like the smarter thing to do. I'm agreeing with Ben, though. If if we were in this world right now and did not know who the character was, we were not spoiled in the start of the event who we were going to possibly meet. Um, my natural instinct would also be report him, or at least no make a note to the principal or whatever that there's been noticed a, a, a person that we have not seen before being on Hogwarts grounds. And then, then let Dumbledore sort it out, or whatever. But if you have a convincing reason why I shouldn't tell Dumbledore, I would consider it. I'm asking you not to. Oh, that's a friendship one. Oh man, that's mean. We don't have all the facts. There is the one that we have no facts. I was needing that one with the with the hands with with the answer options before. I needed that one there. <laughs> Dumbledore is busy. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I'm not gonna use that one. <laughs> um, I will actually pick we don't have all the facts because that was basically what I said I would have said first. If the, um, uh, if the option was there, I would have said that first. So, we don't have all the facts. Because we don't have all the facts. And you know where jumping to conclusions gets us, because we just had a rumor about werewolves. Which was not a werewolf, but a hippogriff. With the whole school in a panic over a werewolf attack, it didn't happen. I like jumping to conclusions. It helps keep me safe. Aww. But I admit there could be more to Sierra's meeting with this visit than we realize. So you promise not to report the visit to Dumbledore? At least, not until I can convince Sierra to tell me what's going on. Trust me, if I found out the visit is dangerous, I will want Dumbledore myself. Hmm. Alright, Ray. I promise I won't tell Dumbledore, but... But... But? Uh, man, Ben, really? <laughs> I might have already s let it slip to some one of our classmates. Then we are in imminent danger. Ben, really? Really? Why? Ben! 
<laughs> Pan! Don't do that! <laughs> he, we just... Oh, man, Ben. Really? Oh, goodness gracious. Now, how do we sort that out? Hmm. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. How many? A, a few. Dozen. I better go find Sierra and get the answers quickly then. Ben! <laughs> Goodness gracious, Ben! How could you do such a thing? Anyway. I need to visit Snape. But I can spare a minute to talk if you hurry to the corridor. Alright. Well, I think we'll be doing that in the next one. And until next time, guys, take care and have a fantastic day.